And it says we're charging 340 miles per hour, 35 minutes remaining. I love it. All right, we're charging. All right, so today's video I wanted to make because this was something that I did not even know and I follow Tesla an awful lot. Now, last Friday, we went to a third-party dealer and bought a used 2018 Model 3 Long Range certified one car owner from CarMax. The guy only drove it like 6,000 miles a year. And so when we bought the car, I instantly thought to myself, well, we can supercharge if we need to, maybe. Here's a little clip from where we supercharged on Saturday out in Douglasville. And I just noticed this didn't have a disclaimer, so please click that like button, click subscribe, and indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. All right, so we're at our first supercharger. We have a few is issues. That a, is that what we look like, or is that yeah. the bigger one? No, that's a Model 3. Okay, Why? okay, we're pretty. We don't, we can't set up an account, and uh, that's kind of an issue, so... I think I can use it one time for free. I'm about to find out. Well, yeah, not free. Oh no, I don't think I'm close enough. Yeah, I'm not close enough, dang it. Now I gotta, now I gotta move. All right, now we're backed up. I got to open the charge port. I think you can do it some other way. All right. Now we'll take our uh, little thingy off the hook and we'll put it in. It's locked in, I heard it make the noise. It's turning green. And it says we're charging 340 miles per hour, 35 minutes remaining. I love it. All right, we're charging. I hear it. Sweet. So that worked. I stayed there for 20 or so minutes, supercharged. But then as soon as I left that supercharger, I had this error message right here that would not go away on my Tesla no matter what I did. So at this point, I'd only had the car 12, like, 17, 18 hours. And so I had not even set up the app yet. I was still using the card. So I went through the process to set up the app. And when I did, I received this email telling me that it would take three to five days for them to process my information to be able to add the car, to be able to add the car to my account, which then meant that I had to deal with this error message for three to five days. And also I could not supercharge again until the car was added to my account so that I could put in a payment method so that I could pay for the supercharging. But then I kid you not, literally 60 seconds later, I get another email, this one, stating that my Tesla Model 3 had been added to the app. So I go, I launch the app, boom, there's the car. I can control the AC, I can do all this stuff. And the error message is no longer on my screen about supercharging. So you're probably thinking to yourself, well, what did you even make this video for? Like nothing really happened. And I'm making this video because when I was looking for a used Tesla, I was looking for up to 150 to even 200 miles away from my address. Reason being, I have a lot of faith in the supercharging network. And I knew that even if I was 200 miles away, that a full battery at the dealer I would be able to stop somewhere and supercharge and still get home. So a warning to anybody who is buying a Tesla from a third party, or I guess from a personal direct direct sell, you may end up waiting and not being able to use your supercharging for three to five days until you're approved. So if this happens and you've drove 300 miles to get your Tesla and you can only supercharge once, you may hopefully make it home. If you drove 500 miles and you need to supercharge twice, I'm sorry for you, you're gonna have to use ChargePoint or somebody else. Let me also add a small caveat here that I did actually call Tesla directly. I called the Barrett Parkway dealership and let them know what happened. And they told me there was nothing they could do. They said that if I came there, they would essentially just go through the same process and it could still take three to five business days. Let me also add that you can still use a Tesla destination charger because those are not superchargers. And you can also still use Electrify America, ChargePoint, EVgo, any of the other uh, charging stations. Of course, if you have the adapter, you could use those. You would just be locked out of the supercharging if you were to buy from a third-party dealer and not directly from Tesla or a personal sale. Now, what I think really happened with my situation was the person that had the vehicle before me, I think, knew a lot about Tesla, considering that they had extra adapters and stuff that they left with the charging kit in the trunk. So I think that they had properly removed the Tesla Model 3 from their account. So when I went to add the Tesla into my account, 
I think that's why it was so instant. And within a minute or two, I had an approval and I did not have to wait three to five days. If this person who had sold the car had left the Tesla in their account and I was trying to add it at that point, I'm certain I would have had to wait those three to five days because they would have had to look over my paperwork that showed that I now own the car and they would need to remove it from that person's account who did not remove it. So essentially in the long run, it could be a massive headache if you buy a third party or direct direct Tesla and you're needing to supercharge like right away. So what I would say is keep this in mind if you're looking at a used Tesla and make sure and make sure you have the ability to charge when you get home. For example, we had to rush and get his charger installed on Saturday because I mean, we didn't know about the supercharging thing. I thought we'd just be able to supercharge whenever we need it. And uh, it was not quite that easy. I feel like I've rambled on a little bit here, but hopefully this has helped some people out. Of course, if you have any questions, leave them below in the comments and I will gladly answer them. And I think that will do it for today's little public service announcement on buying a used Tesla from a third party. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at Indulge Clothing for the merch, and I'll see you all in the next video. Deuces.